and welcome back to the Creations World, finally after two weeks. Yeah, sorry about not doing one last week, guys. Last week, I was so focused with Operation Ally 2020 Remastered that I had absolutely no time to come on here last week. But don't worry, obviously that's over now. It ended back on Thursday, and we are all good. We're back here on the Creations World. As you can see, it's dark. And also, as you can see behind me, we can see the Creations World has pretty much changed completely ever since the last time you saw it. Well, you may see a few things are still here from the fall event, such as the pumpkin patch. But now, as you might notice, they have actually been changed to both carved pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. I'll get to why that's there in a minute. But first, take a look around the Creations World. As you can see, it is all decked out for Halloween. And I mean literally every single room in this entire world. Well... Obviously not that village back there, obviously. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the creations I make. Not that huge village back there. No, I don't mean that. I mean everywhere else but that. But literally, I checked out the entire creation world. See, look, you can even see things that are different over there, too, with the Zeal series. You know, the Zeal Zap series finally has something different after many months. Ray! Jeez, about time. Um... So, let's get into it. There are a ton of items and a ton of rooms to explore. So, let's get started. And also, I really don't care if this goes into daytime. I'm talking about this. But, honestly, I am going to prefer it to keep it nighttime at all times. Because, technically, it is 9.58 p.m. right now. I'm just bored out of my mind right now. Just wanting to do this video right now. Because, well, i got to get this up on the right day for you guys. Otherwise, it would go almost three weeks without an episode. <laughs> but no seriousness. Um, no, seriously though. Let's actually stop messing around and actually get to the tour. Because I really want to show you what I've done. In fact, I need to take off the fall hat. Wait, we have to do that once we get to um the Halloween hat. And yes, as you can see, we do still have the cats here. Uh, a little fun fact, I actually had to respawn Whiskers right before filling because I accidentally killed them. By accident. Actually, no, sorry, I uh, meant to say they actually drowned. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I accidentally said that wrong. What I really meant to say was they drowned somewhere. I don't know where because this place is barely filled with any water. Like, how the heck did they drown in the water? I could not, like, understand that because this place is barely filled with any water that can make them drown. That's weird. Anyway, uh, you guys want to see how long this is, right? Because I'm pretty sure you're curious how long this is going to be or how many episodes it, are you going to be seeing this? Well, take a look. As you can see, it started today, Monday, October 5th, and will be coming to an end in exactly four weeks on Monday, November 2nd. Now, guys, have you managed to notice a pattern here between updates here on the Creations World? Yeah. Have you managed to notice they've occurred on Mondays now? <clears throat> That's because we're now doing episodes on Mondays, of course, as we've been used to seeing for like the last almost three months ever since July. You know, I'm still planning on keeping um, Creations World episodes on Monday. I've gotten so used to it now. Like, I've gotten so used to doing the Creations World on Monday. Guys, I think I'm going to keep it on this day. I have gotten so used to it. I'm not even joking. I... I've just gotten so used to doing this series on Mondays. Guys, I think I am going to be keeping this here. Actually, I am going to be keeping the Creations World episodes on Mondays from now on. <laughs> yep, from now on, all Creations World episodes will, of course, be on Mondays as of July 27th, 2020. Because I've gotten so used to it now that I'm actually really enjoying doing this on Monday every week. Because... It gives me something to do at the end of the day on Monday. So, yeah. Just good news for you. If you like seeing the Creations World episodes on Monday, you are in luck. They are staying on this day forever. Well, until I eventually decide to eventually move them to another day. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. 
I don't see myself moving it from Monday for a long time. Just to make things clear. I just wanted to make that clear right now before we go explore all this thing. I just still want to make it clear if any of you are uh, wondering if this is going to be the Permanent Monday series. The answer is 100% yes. It will be the Permanent Monday series pretty much forever. Until I eventually decide to find something else to do with it. But I, again, like I just said, I don't think I see that happening anytime soon. So guys... The Crazy and Twelve is here to stay on Monday pretty much for a really long time, so hopefully we'll all get used to it. Well, I'm meaning you. What I'm referring to is you guys, the subscribers, the viewers. Hope you guys have gotten used to it already because it's going to stay that way. Because I've gotten really used to it now. And comment down below if you actually like having these episodes on Mondays. No, I actually want to hear you guys. I want to hear how many of you guys actually do like the fact that these are on Mondays. I just want to just hear, like, tell me below in the comments. I don't, I don't really mind your opinions. Just comment down below. Do you actually like seeing these videos on Mondays? Do you? Please comment down below. I want to see how many of you guys are actually interested. With all that out of the way, I just want to inform you that right there, just in case anyone is generally confused because you've been seeing these on every Monday for the last almost three months. And I just forgot to clarify to you three months ago that uh, this is going to be what's going to be happening on Monday every week now. Just in case I didn't clarify you that three months ago, I just wanted to clarify it here just in case. With all that out of the way, though, let's get back to the tour. Or even just get started with it, actually. But yeah, again, I just want to just clarify that to you right now, just in case anyone is still confused if this is what's going to be on Monday from now on, because you've been seeing it on this day for so long. Again, 100%, yes, this is what's going to be on Monday for a long time. Again, just wanted to clarify that, just in case anyone was confused. And again, comment down below if you actually like it. And if I should keep doing it this way. Again, with all that out of the way, let's get into the tour. So again, as you can see right here, we have all the pumpkin patches still here from the fall event. Again, as you again may notice, they have been changed to um, car pumpkins and jack lanterns. I did, ex I did tell you earlier, I would tell you why they're like this. Well, the reason behind that is just because I didn't really feel like taking out the pumpkin patches, and I will obviously do that once this is over. Uh, the reason why I didn't feel like taking them out it's just because I felt we could, I could do something even more creative with this. And just replace all the pumpkins that used to be here, which were normal ones, with jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. Well, carved pumpkins. I also felt like putting them in their own separate row, just to make things a little bit more interesting. Now, I did that for all the pumpkin patches that were here in the fall event. So as you can notice, you may notice that literally every single one that used to be here in the fall event is still here. The only difference is that, of course, it's now jack-o'-lanterns and carved pumpkin. So, let me know below what you guys think. It's pretty cool, and I really hope you guys like it. I know, oh, also, you're probably wondering what the heck this is. The candy corn banner. And no! This is not where you get it. Who am I kidding? You can get it anywhere! Well, actually, it's actually limited to a specific spot, actually. And let me get all this out of the way. This was signs I was making for, um, you know, this event earlier. Specifically to make this one. Which, I didn't set this up before filming. No, no, no. I set this up many hours ago. I set all of this up many hours ago. I just forgot to film it earlier. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the treehouse. I know last year these, I believe, were redstone torches. The reason why I didn't want to do that this year is because if you guys remember back in the summer, this is exactly why the torches are going to stay the same. The torches up here are always going to stay the same. However, I did add a few differences. Oh, and P.S. This year's Halloween event in the Creations World is much bigger than last year because now we have more places in the Creations World. I know last year we had like, like, Last year's was very small because we didn't have that many creations up yet. Yeah, we didn't have too many creations up yet. It was only like the first two months of the world being up. Um, and we didn't have much um, here. But now over a year later, oh yeah, we got tons more, which is why there's a ton more rooms. 
And again, I clarified you earlier, all places in this world are decorated, at least that I created. Again, except for that village back there, obviously, as I mentioned. That's obviously never changing. But everything else did. And I'm just showing you it right now, just to clarify. As you can see, every single window in this party, or just event... Actually, it's not, it's not even clarified in any of those. It's just Halloween decorations. That's it. Because in, there's going to be literally nothing in November. I'm taking the next four weeks off of um, stuff starting November 2nd through the 30th. Just so we can only focus on creation. <gasps> and speaking of creations, this month I'm pretty sure we can all guess what this month's creations are going to be based off of. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Halloween related stuff, of course. But I'll clarify that later on. I'll clarify you that at the end of the video. Just because I don't want to tell you that now because you might forget it. Um, so I'll tell you all at the end of the video. When I'm doing the outro of the video. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this is what it looks like. It looks so cool, right? Oh, and also, all banners are still in the same spots from the fall of that. Although I did add a few new ones, though. Not here, though. But... As we can see in here, as you can see, this is what it all looks like in here. It looks so awesome, right? I know, it's about time I did something with this. Oh, also, these were never here before, the cobwebs and the doors. Yeah, that wasn't there last year. But yeah, also, if you want to go see last year's, go to the Creations World playlist. I might even add the link that's considering it works, because half the time when I add in links, they don't work. Now going in here, as you can see, this is much more different compared to last year. Again, this is pretty much completely different compared to last year. Actually, every single room this year is different. I'm not even kidding. No rooms were brought back from last year. I'm 100% serious. All rooms are different this year. Yep, every single room is different. No repeats. And the same thing will happen for Christmas in uh, December. So yeah, I just wanted to also warn you there, all rooms are different. None of the same from last year. Nope, all of them are completely different. Nothing is the same from last year. Because obviously I don't want to bring back anything from last year. However, that didn't stop me from bringing back a few old Halloween designs in the Zoe's Lab series. We'll get to that later. Two of them specifically. There's two of them. We'll get to that later though. Because let me tell you, they're awesome. And you might recognize them once we go there. But again, just to clarify, oh, and also, this is where the hat is. Go in here, and it's right here, the Halloween 2020 hat. Let's put that on and replace the fall hat. Let's put it right where that is. And as you can see, it almost looks exactly the same compared to the fall hat, only just a few semi-differences. But that's the hat for Halloween this year. So yeah, that is it for this room. I hope you all love it. It is awesome. Let's go out and explore the rest. Oh, also, uh, give me a name for this cat right here. Because we already have whiskers. Guys, comment down below a name for this um, cat right here. The one I'm pointing at. Yep, give me a name for that cat in the comments. Because I can't think of one for some reason. I also want you guys to suggest me a few names. I know I can come up with some on my own, but I really can't think of any names right now. I'm serious. So yeah, suggest me a name for that other cat in the comments. No, we already got Whiskers. I'm talking about that other cat. Yep, this one right here. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yep, the treehouse looks awesome, right? It looks so cool. It may not look as scary as last year, but hey, at least it's something that's different. Anyway, let's get out of here, and let's head over to, uh, where do we want to go next? I think we'll go, yeah, we'll go to the, uh, Planet World Pet Cemetery. Alright, let's go inside. Yep, this is how it looks on the inside. Oh, looks like there's no cobwebs. Wait, hold up! Ah, no wonder that wasn't as dark. 
Oh yeah, the redstone torch is an item, but you can't get it here. It's limited to another place. Oh yeah, you may also notice the bridge. Actually, I think that's actually from last year. I think the bridge was redstone torches. Uh, let me actually check. Is the uh, torches from last year, the uh, redstone torches on the bridge? Let's go here. I could have just clicked the whole flight list. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. Uh, let's see, let me uh, mute this. Hold on, actually, let's go to here because this is when everything was done. Is the redstone torches on the bridge? Let's see. Take a look. Yeah, they were! Nice! Yup, the redstone torches were on the bridge last year. Sweet! That's the only thing from last year. Yup, that is literally the only thing from last year. I swear, that's literally the only thing I brought back because it looked awesome last year. Oh yeah, even the cruise ship didn't even exist last year. But look how cool it is. You can even see it from here. You can already see how cool it looks from here. Anyway, as you can see, this place looks pretty dark. Yeah, all the lights are off. You may notice, why are all the windows green? Well, it makes it look cool. Yeah, I thought putting all the windows as green, I thought it would make it look cool. I also did it on Lego's Island last year, so, um, why not do it here? And no, I'm not doing that again on Lego's Island. No, 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 I have better ideas. Yeah, I have way better ideas. Although, if you guys actually would like to see that again, comment down below. Because it was actually really cool last year, but I might have another idea of my slave. That may look a little bit better. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, here's the first item. Well, actually, that isn't even the first item. So it says, pick any of the redstone torches on this bridge to get it as an item. So yep, you can literally pick any of them on the bridge. So yep, let's just pick any of these, for example, like this one. We have the redstone torch. That is awesome. And I actually forgot to mention um, about, hold on. Oh my god, I did not mean to fly there. Pick any of the pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns to get it as an item. So, we can just pick that one right there, just for example. And then, yep, how about that one right there? There we go. Let's put those there, right there. And that's three items so far. Oh, hold up one second. I forgot to mention about the, uh, the pool. Yeah, this has also been redesigned too. Actually, what well, even with last year's? I'm gonna compare it. What the heck was last year's? I didn't even know what last year's was. My god, oh my god, everything looks so different last year. That is so crazy. Look how different everything looks compared to last year. Hold on one second. Where the heck? I swear. Hold up. Give me a minute. Where did the, uh... I swear the pool was decorated in something last year. Okay, I can't get the, uh, direct footage. Okay, uh, that's a shame. I wanted to see how that looked last year. Oh well. I know that it's obviously not the same, of course. No, because as I said, everything's different. But yep, as you can see, it's the slime pool once again, I believe. I think I did that last year. I think the slime's the only thing that's the same. Oh yeah, the small cruise ship. Let's actually head over there, because I want to get that over with since it's just this way. 
Uh, yeah, look how dark it is. Yeah, look how cool and dark it is. We were just viewing this earlier. There we go. Yeah, it's only just a redstone torch in the window. Nothing too special. Still cool how you can literally see everything. Yup, and this is how it looks. Alright, let's head up here. Oh, and I'll get to that in a second because you guys are probably interested in what that is. Because those signs are actually there for a reason. But as you can see, this is what the small cruise ship looks like. And I did replace this with the water with slime. I think this is where Whiskers drowned, I believe, right here. Right before I put the slime in. But um, as you can see, this is what the uh, cruise ship looks like. Yeah, this is looking much better at night. Yeah, look at this. Look how cool it looks. You can see I did a lot of work on this. Oh, and of course, I would never forget about down here. The redstone torch. No, I would, I would obviously always keep those signs there. At the bottom. So right here, if you guys are confused what this is, it's a travel system. So Legos Island, we can travel to Legos Island starting October 15th. And then we can travel to Zoe's F3 starting October 20th. And then traveling to Zoe's F2 starting October 22nd. Now why is it limited to these dates? Because, fun fact, those are the exact dates those three places are being decorated for Halloween. This, the Creation Twill, being the first one to be decorated for Halloween. Which is super cool. So starting in those next three days that you saw there, you can travel between Zoe's Lab 3, Lego Island, and Zoe's Lab 2 from um, the Creation World using this cruise ship. The same can be done in Zoe's Lab 2 once the Halloween party begins. So, let's get out of here, and let's head back out of here. I still want to see what, what, like, what the pole looked like last year. I'm pretty sure it looked probably looking like that, just with black instead of green. I'm just going to guess that now. Anyway, uh, actually, no, let's not go to the village yet. We're, we, we're going to save that for last. So, where do we go next? Well, honestly, I think the next place we're going to go to is, um, uh, yeah, let's go to the Creations, uh, no, no, let's go to the Action World series first. So I think I want to save ZL2 for, like, second to last before the village. Anyway, take a look at the Action World series. Look how cool and decorated it is for Halloween. It looked awesome, right? It looks so awesome. So, going in here, this is, oh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, this is what it looks like. Looks awesome, right? I know, so cool. I did not think it was going to look this good, honestly. I thought it was going to look a lot worse, but no, nope, it looks pretty awesome. Comment down below. Oh yeah, this is also slime now, as you can see. Going in here, as you can see, this is what it looks like in here. Oh. My mistake. Ah, it didn't seem as dark in here, but that's also thanks to the uh, jack lantern. And yet, you can still come up here with the bed. But no, we are not doing that. Oh, yeah, that's another thing you're gonna have to worry about when coming into this room. Oh, wait a minute, I realize that's your all year long. Yeah, that's their all year long. What about this bed? Well, I guess my spawn point's been reset, I guess. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's get out of the cabin. You know, I might still use that for something in the future. Alright, yep, the hotel. Let's go inside. It looks awesome, right? Well, going inside, as you can see, it looks pretty dark. I also covered this in cobwebs, but in reality, this is what it looks like. We still got the lobby thing for the hotel. 
And yeah, this hotel can still be visited in this world. You can still obviously sleep in this hotel, obviously. This would never change. But what if I did the haunted hotel? That would be so cool. But I highly doubt that. You know, speaking of haunted, what about the Zoe Lab 2 skyscraper? He might build that here later in the month if you guys want. Comment down below if you actually want to see that happen. Because there's four Mondays this month. Specifically, today, October 5th, Monday, October 12th, the 19th, and 26th. And then this is when it ends. Uh, this is when the whole Halloween thing ends. Yep, the Halloween event ends right here on the second. Because that's four weeks from um, that's four weeks from today. So yeah. Now of course, as you can see, everything looks super spooky in here. It looks nice and awesome. Looks nice, right? I know, and this wasn't even here last year. The cruise ship also wasn't there last year either. Yep, I think it was only the uh, treehouse, head cemetery, and village. Yeah, I think those were literally the only three places last year. Now there's so much more. So, yep, that's it for the lobby. Let's head upstairs. It's not too interesting up there, but I think you guys will still like it. Oh, hold on. You guys know I would update this. The elevator. Now let's go up. Hold on. Let's go up and enjoy that beautiful view. There we go. See ya. And this is what it looks like up here. Look how cool it looks up here. I know, this looks awesome, right? Uh, in here, there's not really anything new aside from some cobwebs and windows. That's it. Let's go in here. As you can see, this is how it looks in here. Looks nice and awesome. And yes, there's another Halloween themed bed, which technically the bed is technically there always, but of course, change for Halloween, obviously. Also, this is like the first year I'm actually using um, green instead of black. That's new. I might even do that for Legos Island if I actually want. That might even be what I do. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I know, I've been so used to using black all these years. Now I'm trying green. Comment down below if you want me to keep that a thing. For maybe the next year or so, or even just this year. But yeah, I wanted to try something new after like five years. Because I've been kept doing the black and orange thing over like the last five or six years. Well, technically five. Because, well, start didn't start doing the lab until 2015. So, let's get out of here. No cobwebs in here. Kind of glad there isn't. I forgot what was down there, but oh well. Anyway, this is a cool one, right? Well, as you can see, this is how it looks. It looks awesome, right? Look at all this! It's like a haunted, like, spooky place. Everything's, like, spooky. And it's really cool how I managed to make all of this. I know, just look how cool it is! I know, what do you guys actually think? Comment down below what you actually think of all of this. Alright, now time to head over to the Legos Island series. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, every room is updated as you might actually notice. One of the biggest ones is right here. 
Look how cool this is! Look how awesome that is! I know, this looks so epic! Feels like the Halloween Resort all over again! Although the resort will technically be decorated again in like the next... Oh yeah, Lego's Island Halloween 2020 starts in like 10 days! Yeah, it starts in like 10 days. On oh, like Thursday the 15th. Yep, that's when it begins. And that's gonna be a fun one. Speaking of Lego's Island, I really need to get back to that. Don't worry, episodes resume tomorrow. The 6th. I promise. For real. Okay? Making that clear now. There was even supposed to be one today. But I also was focusing my time on this. Pretty much the whole day. Which is why you can see a lot has happened. Yeah, I've been focusing a lot of time on this. So, yeah. I mean, as you could have clearly seen, that's probably why. But that's only just the resort right here in Lego's Island series. Now, let's go through all the rooms and see how they look for Halloween. A lot of these are pretty much custom made, actually. Actually, every single one are all new designs. So as we can see in here, not, uh, well, it's actually a lot in here. I did not think I would go this crazy with just a small little room like this, but I did, and I love it. Let's get out of here. There you go. And that's pretty much all I did. There's not really much else I did. Going to the pet cemetery. Yep, this is a new design too. I did bring back a few elements from the original, but mainly it's all new. So, yep. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you guys think of this. Feels like I'm doing this on a lie, but nope. In reality, this is the creations world. What the heck is this guy doing out here? Bye! I don't need him. I mean, why is he even still up here to begin with? Can he even respond to another one of those guys? Good enough. Move it! Okay, seriously though. Oh yeah, we're gonna be seeing a ton of bats during this. Anyway, this is how everything looks. Looks very similar to an older design from Lego's Island. But, pretty much different actually. That's all that needs to be said in here. Let's go out and let's head over to the Legos Island Coffee Shop. Which is a brand new design. I might even put this in Legos Island if you guys actually want. For most of these designs. But I think these are just exclusive to the creation. But if you guys really do want to see these designs in Legos Island this year for Halloween. Please let me know below in the comments on this video. I want to see how many of you guys actually like these designs and if you would really want me to put these in Legos Island Halloween this year. I seriously want to see how many of you guys actually want me to. Because it would be really cool to see how many of you guys actually like these designs and if you would like me to put them on the actual Legos Island this Halloween. So, seriously, comment down below if you want to see any of these designs in here. Any of the Legos Island designs you're seeing right now. Yeah, this looks so freaking cool. I'm really concerning of putting this on Legos Island, but it's up to you. So right here, as we can see, this is how this room looks for Halloween. I know, don't these rooms look so good? I mean, come on, they're all new rooms that have never been seen before. All new custom made ones. And yes, that is a jack o' lantern, that's why this room's a little bit lit up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. Again, I don't know if you want to see a sun ally this Halloween. Go inside, and this is how this room looks. It looks so cool, doesn't it? It's so 
looks so freaking epic! Doesn't it? Again, comment down below if you want to see any of these on LEGO's Island this Halloween. Any of these designs you're seeing right now in the LEGO's Island series. And I mean exclusive to this series right here. Um, here in this part of the world. Cause I could literally add this to LEGO's Island in Halloween next week. I could seriously do it if you guys want it. windows. I'm doing that now. Knew I was realizing something. Okay, I have to fix something. Hope the PC doesn't shut down on me. Alright, yep, that's how this room looks in here. It looks awesome, right? Compared to what you would see on that eye. Yeah, the watch. Looks nice. Let's go inside and see how it looks. Yeah, look how cool this is! I am seriously still gonna consider probably putting this on LI if you guys really want it. Judging by how good these are, these might go on to Legos out on Halloween. I really think they will. But again, that's all up to you. up here and this is like the same design from 2018 I believe aside from that window also let's go down to the Legos Island event room because again I said literally every room is updated yup every room is updated guys look how crazy this is this is nice the amount of things I put into this this is so awesome, right? This is incredible. Why is this all so good? Oh, wait. I made all of this. So, yep. Yeah, this is an awesome design for the Legos Island event room right down here in the Creations world. Oh, hold on. Yeah, kill that bat. Get out of here. Also, the reason why I didn't go into any of the chests is because none of them are updated. Alright, we are actually done with the Legos Island series. So, we can get out of here. Next up, we're going to head on to the Zoids Lab series. Which has all the rooms updated, aside from the UFO, which I completely forgot to do. That's one thing I just realized now. But, eh, who cares about the UFO? At least right now. We're also coming up to a year since I made it in this world. Also, the event room, slash creation history room, is also not updated. Just for proof. Yep, no updates. However, technically, I did update this. So as you can see, this now does say September 21st through October 5th, and this now does say September 5th, no, 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 uh, October 5th through November 2nd. So as you can see, a pattern has been created where I make all updates on Mondays. And we're going to keep it that way, because that's when I make episodes. And when I only come on to this world. This sign is exactly the same, but feel free to read it if you still want to. Because it's awesome. Now... On to the Zoids Lab series. As you can see, everything has been updated. Oh, oh and don't worry. All of these signs are still the same. But, oh, all of these are custom made because these rooms were never decorated for Halloween before. And remember how I said earlier that there is, um, there is, um, two past ones? Well, I'll show you which ones those are in a minute. Let's go for these first few. Going in here, as you can see, going inside, this is an all-new custom one. 
Does the original Zoas have office? Did not have any Halloween decorations in it because I didn't even live up till that time. So this is a new one. Not really much can be said about this room, but it's still a cool design. Yep, look how awesome this is. It's all nice and dark. Sweet. Alright, yep, let's get out of here. Not too interesting, but it's still super cool. Alright, come on, there we go. Next up, let's make our way to the medieval one. Oh uh, yeah, this is pretty much the same thing, it's just a few things maybe a tiny bit different. Let's go inside, and this is how it looks. I don't look how awesome this looks. But of course, this is only just the inside. We still got the upstairs to do. Just look how cool all of this is. And again, just know, this was all made today. Every single thing you're seeing in this video was all made today. Um, all Halloween decorations you see in this video were all just made today. And if you're wondering why, how long it took me, I want to say at least, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe two to three hours to make all of this. I'm trying to remember it, but I think it was two to three hours it took me to make all of this. Again, the entire world is decorated. Again, aside from that village back there. But I'm talking about my actual creations in the world. Yeah, look how awesome this is! It looks so awesome, right? And yeah, what do you guys think? It looks so cool. Let's get out of here and head. Um, we're gonna head back down because now we gotta go to, well, this next one is actually a past room. So yay, finally! But I hope you guys enjoyed the, um, Custom-made ones that are brand new. Oh, I realized I should probably have the mobs on. Much more interesting! Because now it's Halloween. Well, at least in the next 26 days it will be. Yup, and this is where we get to the past rooms. Yup, there's two of them. Two of them. And you might already recognize one of them. Ta-da! Who recognizes this? Because, as you can see, it is the Zola Zap 2 Halloween 2015 Lab Office, October 21st, 2015. And the reason why it has that date is because that is when this very design was introduced, which is hard to believe almost five years ago. Five years ago this month to be exact. Yup, this month on October 21st, it will be five years since the design was first present. Ever. So I brought it back in this world just in celebration, and I won't be doing this in actual Zoe's app 2, because the lab has been renovated last year, so I don't want to do that again, because it would take me ages to rebuild the lab after that. So yeah, that's super cool. And no, the Secret Underground... Halloween room is not there. However, I'll give you a hint. We're going to be making that in the Creations World later this month on one of these Mondays. Because I said all Halloween related stuff. So I gave you a hint for one of these Mondays this month for what we're going to be creating. I'll tell you at the end of the video. Actually, I'll, I'll give you, I'll update you at the end of each episode each week for which Halloween related thing we're going to be building that next week. So, I'll tell you if we are going to be building the uh, secret ha Halloween room next week. I'll let you know if that's true. Because it might even be. Or it could even be the Halloween skyscraper. Or whatever else is fun and Halloween related. Okay, but seriously, I'll let you know which one it is at the end of the video. Each week at the end of the episode, I'll let you know which Halloween thing we're going to be building the next week. So, I hope you guys love this design. This is an almost five-year-old design. Because this was introduced in 2015. And I know this button was never here. But, you're going to be surprised what comes out of it. Ta-da! Can you recognize what it is? Wait for it. Ta-da! My 
old Halloween costume. We're wearing this for the rest of the month on the Creations World now, eh? Yeah, so those are four new items. There are a lot of items in this part. So yeah, that is so cool. And I guess we can remove the button now since we kind of don't want to ruin the design. And the, and the Blackstone button never even existed back then. I also really got to clear my inventory. Like, seriously. So, yeah. But anyway, what do you guys think of this cool design returning after, like, two years? Actually, it did come back in 2018 for the lab. But it hasn't been seen since. So, it's nice to have it back again. And I think this was here. Although, I think the ladder was here for the skyscraper. And I think this torch was here, too. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't remember. But, I do remember the room looked exactly like this, aside from this sign. And the entrance to the Halloween room. But, anyway, that's one of the out of the two past rooms. Let's move on. This next one is a new one. And as you can see, this one never here before, at least this design. Yeah, this, as you could clearly see, is a new one. Because as you can see, this does not look anything like you've seen before. This is a new one, 100%. But yeah. This looks awesome, right? Oh yeah, we can also uh, get rid of the zombie. Wow. One hit? That's impressive. Anyway, in here as you can see, not too much, but it still looks awesome. Anyway. This is what this room looks like, the flower shop. Again, nobody's up here because it's just a creation. But the roof also looks awesome. And again, if I haven't shown it already, this is what down here looks like. It looks awesome, right? Alright, let's head up to the roof and hopefully it'll work. Unlike the lab. Yeah, there we go. I know, unlike the lab, it never works. Wow, it actually works here, unlike the lab. Yeah, that's surprising. Now hopefully it'll work at the lab. Now up here, this is also brand new too. Because of course I said all of this was new up here. And as we can see, a lot of things have been updated ever since. Which is awesome. So yeah. As you can see, this is what I did for Halloween this year. Up here on the uh, roof. And of course there's some candy corn banners there. Let's get out of here and head right back down. Yeah, I hopefully that will go get into the lab. Um, you know, that door. Let's get out of here. All right, and then this is the second and last pass room. Because the rest are new. So, as you can see, you might actually recognize this one from 2017. So this is Zoza Free Halloween 2017 Lab Office, November 3rd, 2017. Because in that year, this actually came a few days late. That's why it says that. Anyway... Oh yeah, that's much better. And this is the exact design from the lab office back then. I did check the video, the exact video, to make sure I got everything right. So yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think that I actually threw in a few past designs in here? I know it may not seem like much, but hey, at least you get something. Also, the dock has been updated to look exactly like it was. So that's cool. Anyway, with that madness, the rest of them are now new ones. Alright. Yup, this one is, uh, an all, is um, an all new one. Although I should have put a jack lantern in here probably to light things up. Let's do that now.
Yeah, that looks too lit up. At least I did that. Oh yeah, this is also here too. Looks awesome, right? No! Ah, oh, I almost thought I would fall down in the void. Anyway, this is what this room looks like. Look how cool it looks! I know, it looks so awesome, right? I know, doesn't it look so freaking cool? I know, this all looks so awesome, right? And you thought this couldn't have gotten any better than it already was. Well, I was wrong. Really was. Well, this is a more updated version to the other one we saw earlier. Moving on. Oh, and yes, those are there, the candy corn banners. This one's also brand new, too. The difference is that there's no lights off. And as you can see, literally every single uh, thing in this room is a jack-o'-lantern. There are no regular pumpkins in here. And there's also candy corn banners literally everywhere. Look how epic this is. I know, this looks so cool, right? Why does this look so freaking good? I will never understand why I make these so freaking good. Let's go inside. And as we can see, this is how it looks right here. I know, I did so much to make this good. This is gonna be a real fun event. There's no items in here. The only items that were in the Zola Zap series was my Halloween costume. And as we can see in here, this is an all new one as well. Again, I said after the CL3 one, uh, the rest of them would be new. So yep, you never saw this before, so this is also all brand new. So, what do you guys think? Moving up up here. As you can see, this is what everything looks like up here. I know, it looks so awesome. Up here, as you can see, also just looks like this. I know, I did so much in this update. You can see how much there is. And you can even see how long the video is. That is how much I put into this update. Next up is a pretty similar one, but it's also a little bit more different. I know in here may, may look a little bit similar, but there are a few semi-differences. I think it's a little bit darker in here compared to what it was in the other room. Yeah, this looks almost exactly the same, although there may be a few light differences. And we're not able to get that item yet because we have to head over to uh, the village for that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing aside from... Whoa, hold on. That's supposed to be there. So it's almost the exact same thing, actually. Now, up here, though, is actually different. Yo, as you can see, this is actually different compared to that one over there. Yep, this proves that this is different. It looks awesome, right? I know, just look how freaking cool all of this is. I cannot believe all of this was done today. Alright, now we're done with the lab offices. Let's move on to the underground party room, which is also the last thing in the uh, ZL series. This is obviously also brand new. Let's get these guys out of here. Nice, we even got his. Oh. There we go. I don't need them now. As we can see, this is how it looks in here. My god, that's in here. Oh, I 
god, I didn't even know that one was up there. Bye bye! Okay, but seriously though, take a look at this. It looks so cool, right? And yeah, I even made that too. It's like a slime version of the Jack Lantern. It's so cool how much I made that for. And then we're done with the ZL series because the rest of this is all the same. So I might expand the ZL series. Um, just to add those two extra rooms. Alright, now we're done with the ZL series. The last place is the village. And then we're done with this whole thing. And that's obviously where the banner is. And actually, that sign is actually still there from the uh, fall event, actually. So yeah, now we can head down to the village. And look how freaking cool this looks already. I know, this already looks so cool already. Well, the insides of the rooms are even better. Anyway, I did do a few small changes and put all these here. Yep. As you can see, I've taken a lot of attention to detail. And as you can see, I did put all of this here. Look at how much detail I put into all of this room. Get out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. Oh, right. We gotta don't have an arrow or a bow. So, yeah. That's much better. Let the slimes invade. Alright, and now I'm messing around, let's actually go inside. See, I told you all these rooms would look different this year. You know what, yeah, let's honestly sleep for why not, even though that wheel changes back to daytime. You know, let's let all the zombies burn, honestly. Look how good we can stay over there. Look at that. I feel like I'm in another zombie war on Legos Island once Legos Island Halloween begins. Yep, yeah, this is how the room looks. I remember there was slime all over the floor last year, but obviously that's been removed this year. I honestly don't know why. I just. Felt like removing it. I don't even know why I decided to, but oh well. Bye bye. And here, this is how this looks. Not really too much because of the uh, jack o' lantern. I also forgot to put cobwebs in here, but oh well. I really don't care. And here is also new because every single room here is new. Oh, yep, the lighthouse is different. I also removed all the uh, end rods, but I replaced them all with redstone torches. And uh, this is how it looks on top. And yes, the jack lantern's there. And yes, all windows haven't changed to uh, green for this update. Yep, that's true. I didn't go in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I'm already tired already. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be glad it's kind of my last upload today anyway. Huh. Uh, I also forgot to put cobwebs in here, but you know what? I still honestly really don't care. Huh. Huh. So yeah, this is what I did this year. We we'll still get that beautiful yearbook. I'll probably read that again at some point. Probably even after I'm done with this vid. Huh. But yeah, that's how the library looks. Uh, hold on. We're not gonna go there yet, because I still gotta showcase the blacksmith area. And, uh, that, this is how it looks this year. I don't know, the candy corn banners have been appearing everywhere. Ah, oh, I put it out! Oh well. Anyway. This is how the, uh... Oh, okay. I actually forgot that that was there. Oh, oh, okay, good. Um, it went out. Probably because that banner's there. Anyway, this is just how it looks for Halloween. Looks nice. Alright, lastly but not least, and this is finally where the banner is presented. Yep, look at the final pumpkin patch. It looks awesome, right? Yep, one final pumpkin patch. Full of carved pumpkins and jack lanterns. In here, if you get any of the banners to get it as an item, we can finally pick up that banner after all this time. That is awesome. There we go. I'm not gonna hold it because I'm already holding the blaze rod for my Halloween costume. Actually, I forgot. How do I look without it? The hat. Oh, yeah, that's how I look. But I'm just gonna keep the hat on because it looks cool. Making this the first year to have a hat on with my Halloween costume. Nice. But that will only affect this world, though. And the other worlds, I'll just have it without. Now, as we can see, inside brings this. It's pretty cool inside, isn't it? It really shows how creepy the eye, the um, um the world is. Well, the island, the island world, yeah, that'll get scary soon. Ah, no wonder these windows weren't updated. Man, yeah, these windows are easy. I can just take care of them within a few seconds. Like even under a minute, if I even can. There we go! All done! So yeah, not too much here, but it's still a really cool design. Still though, this design is epic. I will admit, this design is very epic. I'm glad I put this in here. Now as for the mine though, I'm gonna give you a little bit of um, unfortunate news. It is another room not to be updated. That's because it was added only so recently, but I forgot to put something in here. Yeah, I really didn't care, honestly. Honestly, I really don't really care right now. Um, just because, yeah, there's not really much I really could do with it, honestly. It also would probably have taken me too long to, since the place is so big. Yeah, that place is huge. I remember building that exactly four weeks ago. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention the outside of the workshop. Well guys, that is it for every single room in this update. Uh, what, do you, like, what is your favorite room? What is your favorite item? And I'd love to hear all your feedback in the comments down below. I will see all of you tomorrow for a Lego that one episode. Uh, and not only that, but also back your video. There was also supposed to be one today. Oh, wow, it's exactly 11 p.m. Wow. It's exactly 11 p.m. right now. That's crazy. I'm going to upload this and, you know, shut off my laptop because I'm just bored. And also pretty tired. I've been up a long time today. I want to say at least maybe like 12 hours or something. So, thank you so much for watching the video, like and subscribe, 
Um, again, I'll see you tomorrow for, again, Flavors Island, back to BS. Uh, so is that free for the celebration of fall? Which tomorrow was actually supposed to be the original end date, but uh, it didn't even start yet. And we'll only let it go for just one week until the 13th. And that is it for tomorrow. So, hey guys. Goodbye!